Hi guys, how are you doing? This is Sebastian from Tech Century, and welcome to a quick tour of my new temporary setup. So this won't be the setup that you'll see in a couple of weeks when I make a new office tour. This is just a temporary solution. I sold all my old monitors, so the Liama and the two Aox, and I actually already ordered three Dell U2515 H, and you can also check out my full review of this monitor already. Now, unfortunately, these new Dell monitors are out of stock everywhere here in Germany. So this is my temporary solution that will just help me to get work done. And I always wanted to try out a single 4K monitor setup as well. So this is now my chance. So the star of this setup is, of course, this new 4K monitor. And this is the Dell P2715Q. Now, I didn't make an unboxing of this monitor, but you can trust me, it's probably one of the best 4K monitors that you can currently pick up when it comes to value. Now, I actually just paid 520 euros for it, and it's a 4K monitor with IPS panel and 60 hertz refresh rate, which is pretty rare. And again, of course, this price of around 500 euros is absolutely incredible. So, so far, I can highly recommend it. I'm using this monitor for a couple of days now, and just the resolution and the text sharpness just blow me away every time that I look at it. So it's basically like a retina feeling uh, that you would get from the retina MacBooks. Also in macOS, you have some nice scaling options, so you don't have to use it at the full resolution, and I'm actually not doing that either. So it's very nice to use also when you have a Mac at home. Now, other than this Dell P2715Q, there are actually just two items on my main desk. And of course, there are the speakers that I unboxed a while ago, and these are the Creative T6 Series 2 Signature Speakers by Creative. And I have to say, they're absolutely amazing. They're even better than the T3s, which I actually now use with my TV. And I'm just very impressed with the sound quality overall. Now, it does take some time at the beginning to adjust the bass to the right level. But once you've got that, I think these speakers are probably one of the best that you can get. And I think they're a good alternative to other, for example, Bose solutions. So I never looked back after purchasing them. Now, the last big item, of course, is my late 2013 Mac Pro. This is the quad-core version, and I have a full review as well as an unboxing here on the channel as well. And I only upgraded it to 16 gigabytes of RAM, which we're currently sent over by Mr. Tybox123. Adam, I'll leave a link to his channel down below. And I'm just very happy with this machine. It also drives this 4K display by Dell very nicely. And I'm just very happy with this purchase. It's probably the best machine that I ever picked up. And I'd never regret spending like 3000 euros on it because it's certainly worth it. Now, of course, I also use peripherals with my Mac Pro and I chose the Logitech K811 Bluetooth keyboard, which is wireless and illuminated, which is a very nice combination, especially if you're working late. And in terms of mouse, I'm actually using the MX Master, which you'll probably have seen in my review as well as my unboxing. And I'll also leave the links to these videos in the description down below. Now, actually, this whole video was also recorded with a new camera of mine, the Panasonic SE1000 in 4K. So let me know what you think of this video quality. Everything except, of course, this last shot of the camera itself was recorded with the Panasonic. And I'm eager to hear what you guys have to say about this new temporary setup, as well as, of course, also about the video quality from the FZ1000. I'm also very impressed with this camera. And if you like this video, please make sure to subscribe for many more videos like this. And also make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time.